Jackie Cash and Lori Kilmartin. All right, Jackie. What's going on? I saw your website. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. There was trouble because yeah. I didn't tell promotionalrescue.com. I didn't tell Melanie VC that um, the Dork Forest also has its own uh, website. Uh huh. And it's always been under the purview of, I thought it was sort of just on WordPress. Um, but it turns out Vilmos moved it all to his proprietary server. So, um, what I have is I have Vilmos has been running the website, friend guy comic. Yeah. One of the and um he, you know, when when and Melanie VC makes gorgeous websites using Squarespace, right? Because she's also a PR person and and uh there is, you know, it's just a it's it's what it you know, it's what it is. But uh, Jackie's turning down her mic. If anyone's turning, yeah, wondering if anyone why wonders... she's become disinterested in her own sentences, it's because <laughs> Kyle DM'd her that her mic was too hot. <laughs> right. So we're gonna how's how's that, Kyle? Turbo, perfect. There you go. I'll try to keep it at this at this distance. And Let's then... not keep secrets from our audience. Okay. <laughs> I agree. Full they can tell when something's wrong. <laughs> something's gone awry, you guys. Uh, and there will be fireworks playing in the background because I live in Van Nuys, which yeah. is no doubt about to be on fire. And Gordy cannot stand it. And mm. so uh, Andy's taking him inside to cuddle with him. Anyway. <laughs> That'll help. He likes to be cuddled when mm -hmm. it's, and he has a lot of gravitas. He's a serious little dog for the rest of the time. But when there's booms, that dog is like, I am a baby and I would like to be <laughs> swaddled. And uh, yeah. So anyway, so there was, um, so dorkforest.com was down for a couple of days. And then we figured it out today. Vilmos and I did uh, some back end shenanigans. He's back of the room, right? He's, chef in the kitchen and uh melanie vc front of the house front of the house the maitre mm -hmm. d and uh making sure all the the napkins look pretty and uh and the food is uh plated correctly and everything's gorgeous so are yes. you watching the bear why why am i getting a full restaurant analogy from you <laughs> i am not watching the bear i don't have that okay. uh, platform but are you watching the bear i hear yeah, the bear is good watched just watched another episode with my son yeah it's great it's really good good mm -hmm. it's a sitcom right well it's a half hour it's a, <laughs> it's it's not a, right. it's not a sitcom you know but it's it's got funny parts in it and there just needs to be a a a a, a, a story t a description like it's good <laughs> you know <laughs> I don't know it's a great half hour stuff. Half hour, yeah. uh, it's excellent television for thirty minutes in a row. Exactly. It's a, it's an interesting story, interesting writing, great acting. I mean, it's got it all, and it's on Hulu. So you don't have Hulu? No. Uh, there's hmm. uh, at this point we're paying like two hundred bucks a month for television. Uh, so okay. I don't know that I want to pay. Any, I wouldn't mind regrouping somehow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I also know that uh, Chris and Andy know how to work the television now. And so I don't want to. Don't mess with it. You yeah. know, I, my mom used to, uh, my son's father would fix the remote and he would say, don't push this button. Just keep it like this. And she would immediately push that button. Like old people can't stop fucking with the remote and the tv so if you have it set up it's worth the amount you're paying yeah to make it simple for chris right and then if i want to watch other things just pay more money and find that money and this website's supposedly gonna do it and then i'm also gonna <laughs> that's gonna find money for you a website it's also gonna wow. find money for me yeah I'm and then the and she was very excited about the special that Kyle shot and edited. Mm -hmm. And uh, I the team... saw the promo. I love it. Yep. It's, uh, yeah, it's literally, it's just the backup camera of, a, of, a, of Kyle's car. Mm -hmm. And Kyle had the idea that he wanted a three-car shoot 
with three car cameras, but uh, I <laughs> tried to simplify. Funny. Anna got to the set and pitched the same thing. Yeah, for the record, <laughs> for the record, other people have the same idea, and and I'm sure someone will pay thousands of dollars to do it right. Like a bunch but we of did it first. Oh, yeah. That's right. Right. You're and, right. But I will say that. Uh, so it's gonna. I mean, I'm gonna release it to my to my mailing list first because uh-huh. there's some sort of PR thing. I'm also gonna put it on the Patreon because um they deserve yeah. it and um and everybody like all all the people who listen to the dork forest run are essentially i believe on my mailing list and then a bunch of just stand-up fans so they should get it first and then we're gonna do a worldwide release of 10 minutes of car jokes into the ass camera of a vehicle <laughs> uh yeah it's very funny how very serious <laughs> <laughs> Melanie Vesey, she's like, I know self-deprecation is very funny. I know uh, this seems uh, you did it because you were just mad about specials and you thought it was funny. I know, I know, I know. In other news, it's real and uh, we're going to treat it like it's real. And I was like, <laughs> you are very good at your job, so I'm going to let you do your job. And uh, and it does look, it really does. <laughs> she did an amazing job. It's gorgeous. Yeah, your site looks great. And the, there's like a, the picture there's one really pretty picture of you at the very bottom i think like when you scroll down i think you're kind of it looks oh, the, new oh the carmen morales uh oh uh, really we're, we're, yeah it's uh carmen morales is, was the photographer oh nice um, i would like i wonder if squarespace has that where you roll over it and get a photo credit or hmm. you know you roll over it with your I mouse mean, that's like you... a, a simple html thing too the you know yeah yeah i've never the... I'm never having that conversation. My head <laughs> was on fire and and I have three more thing uh meetings with Melody and she blew my mind about about Instagram by the way. Did you know this is probably true of you too because you have albums and um you, you know how we make posters or there's flyers and then you put it up and you can put animations on it so it's a reel. So it it shows up as oh, a reel. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, if you put animations on it, then you can post it as a reel. And a reel, and, and if you use Instagram's um, programming, right, if you use their assets, they like it better and they sort of plug it more. And so, and they like reels better. So here's another thing you could do as a reel. You could add music to that and 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 sound. Well, To your flyer? Yeah. To your flyer. But when you hit the music symbol and search music, you can search whoever you want to search. But mm-hmm. you can also search your name and my name and Maria's name. Oh. Our comedy albums are also listed. Interesting. So okay. you, it'll play a clip of your stand-up. Oh. So cool. I currently have um, a flyer up that is doing that. And I've picked a random, I mean, the whole thing's a just a half-assed version of it being yeah. done correctly. But like Maria Bamford has a new book coming out called Sure, I'll Join Your Cult in <laughs> September. And she used to do a joke about moving to LA and there was always someone who were like, hey, uh, do you want to meet at a, at a, at a, you know, at a thing? And, and they'll, they're like, it'll be great. We're going to talk about it. And she's like, sure, I'll join your cult. <laughs> is there going to be free is there going to be free sandwiches or whatever and yeah <clears throat> so <clears throat> excuse me um that cl- that that line sure i'll join your cult is on instagram on one of her albums cool is there, so, is the audiobook of her will it i, I wonder if that will be when she and i might, wonder if my audios are on yes it makes you want to check i know um, mm-hmm. but it blew I'll my mind when podcast, she told me. But I, I do want to check. How um, I had this this week has been so busy with the website stuff, and I've taken all the gigs. I keep going to flappers. I'm like, I have so much new material. I just came from doing Laura House's show, mm-hmm. where um, it's at the Crow once a month. It's um. But it's you have to be recovered, right? No, you just recovery. have to. You don't have to, but I think. Uh, 
What about someone like me who's not recovered? I can't do that show. Thanks a lot, Laura. <laughs> right. It turns out you don't have one of those 12 step diseases. And uh, I probably do. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Allow me to diagnose you. Um, uh, the uh, there's something called the Adult Children of Alcoholics Anonymous, and uh, I do remember watching your um, mother drink a giant glass of vodka and have many carrots, and thinking to myself, "This is a lot." Well, she didn't do that when I was growing up. Um, that's just that was after my dad died. I think she just went fuck it. Yeah, and what's the point? Understandably. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And I, but, uh, by the as way, soon as I would, started saying that sentence, I was like, stop talking about it. It's not, you don't know. Um, but, but she also very carefully measured, you know, just half a cup of vodka and half a cup of water. And that's it. Just the one, Jackie. She wasn't out of control. Well, I'm so glad that she could control and enjoy her drinking. <laughs> <laughs> now the baby carrots, that was out of control. That was a lot. Um, can you hear well, the booms behind me? No. Oh, good. I have there's booms here. Um, I uh, I uh, I had a lot of stuff with my son this week. So on Tuesday we went to we went to a concert at the Wiltern uh, with this this band called Grandson, and um, it was great. He was great. He had two openers, and one of that one of them was named Jack Kays, and he just did a half hour. He was awesome, really young guy, and then a woman named Kay Flay. And she was amazing. And she's like, a she's a really, really great performer. And um, uh, yeah, so it was just a really awesome show. There was a lot of downtime between the acts while they were switching stuff out, like maybe 45 minutes. Yeah. So it was long, um, but it was my son's first concert. And I haven't been to a concert in a long time. It was really good. And then um, today, uh, the uh, World Cup, the Men's uh, Water Polo World Cup was being played all this weekend at USC at the right. Olympic Olympics pool water polo and, um, World cup. That's amazing. I did, who knew there was such a thing? <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it should be, it should be a more popular sport. It's so exciting. And then the, 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 uh, the game, the game for the bronze was U S versus Hungary and they were tied at the end of the game. So then they, they basically do shootouts until somebody fails, which oh, is, okay absolute misery if you're the mother of a goalie basically if your child fails then the other team wins because that's it all it is is penalty shots until right. a goalie until a goalie either blocks the shot you know and then then usually they they miss it they kept missing it and then one goalie actually did block it and then that was a hungarian guy and uh, okay uh, anyway, it was great though. It was a lot of fun. Very tired. Long day out in the sun. But we didn't stay for the final game. That I was there with my son and two of his friends, players, and um, they were just like, uh, they were tired. We watched three games over six hours, and uh, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> they didn't want to stay for the fourth one because you know probably they would have if it was the U.S. But it was um, it was a lot. So we went back, and uh, I could have. Here's the thing. I had two sets of flappers tonight on the 5 p.m. show and the 8 p.m. show. And right. once I realized, I thought the water, the World Cup was just one game at one o'clock. And then I looked at the ticket again. I'm like, oh, my God, it's fucking one, three, five and seven. All, there's four games. So right. uh, I called and I had to cancel spots, which made me physically ill. Um, yeah. And then it turns out I could have made the 8 p.m. show because these kids bailed after USA <laughs> six hungry. hours just because six <laughs> hours of watching water polo was enough for them. I, I have to say to man up and they didn't listen to me. Well, I have to, was it yesterday? I think it was Friday. I had a set at West side at, at, um, at eight, what I thought was eight 30 and then a nine 30 show at flappers. Yeah. And, um, that's what, tough. Right. Except for that the show started at eight and I thought I had told Chris that I needed to go up early because I was going to do the thing. So I show up. It's just, it's 823. I'm there. And I'm like, oh, I'll get to talk to all the comics and ask if I can go up first. If he forgot to, and he had me closing and the <laughs> show and the show was started. 
And so I go into the the green room and I'm like, I have another, I have another set of flappers. You know, I just sort of volunteered the information instead of using my words like a grown up person. And so mm-hmm. nobody said, well, you can go next. So I took my $20 check and I went back to the door guy and I was like, you should keep this. Cause I got to go up to flappers. And he said, did you ask them? And I said, I stood around a little bit and uh, he said, I'll be right back. And he went and asked them and they let me and nobody cared. <laughs> Absolutely. No one cared. And I was psyched because the set went well. And then I went and I did a set at Yuhu and it did not go well. And mm. uh, I've been working on the same three premises for the whole weekend. And then Saturday I had two sets, one in the main room and one in the Yuhu. And both of those went well. Uh, the Friday night, Jimmy Brogan was there. Mm-hmm. And Jimmy Brogan, of every time he sees me, he likes to give me advice about doing stand-up comedy. Mm-hmm. For 30 years, 25 years. Okay. And this time uh, we were all sitting in the green room and uh, road work came up and I was telling him about some gig that Maria was doing in Canada. And he said that she shouldn't do the road and that I shouldn't do the road, that I shouldn't do the road, Lori. Why? Why? And I looked at him because they weren't glamorous enough. They weren't good enough gigs. And I said, that's what I do for a living, Jimmy. And he goes, there has to be a better way. And I was like, <laughs> like having uh, like having a 30-year pension from Leno? Yeah, that would be a better way. It is a better way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a great way to it's make a, a much living. better way. <laughs> and I, he said, I said, Jay would do the gigs that I do. And he said, yeah, but Jay Leno's nuts. And I said, and I didn't want to say I'm the same kind of nuts, but I'm the same kind of nuts. I mean. By the way, Rogan. Doing flappers on the the chateau back to back. He's doing the chateau. We're all nuts. What's happening? I wouldn't. The fact that he's driving on purpose and calling up the chateau for sets. I I will. You you'll do the chateau. You've done the the ha ha in the last year. I haven't, and I I would I would posit that. I would rather do a bar in Modesto than in Modesto. Something. Yeah, that was. Uh, there's. Uh, do you ever do that? Too far of a drive. Did you ever do that gig? Wait, no, no, for five hundred dollars. Yeah. They're in Modesto. I've worked. I'm Jackie. I'm from the Bay Area. I've worked Modesto. You've worked Modesto times exactly in my life. for money. There's always a gigs in Modesto constantly. Is there currently a gig in Modesto, Kyle? I'm sure. Why wouldn't there be? It's a gigantic city and somebody and comedy is booming. Why wouldn't there be at least four bar gigs in Modesto this week? I don't know what why this got super angry about Modesto, but uh, <laughs> yes, Kyle? It brings that out in people. But yes, there's absolutely shows in Modesto. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Kyle's grinding it out, Lori. He's still he's still available to play Modesto is what I'm saying. As oh, am I. Tell me to get out. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i had to laugh at his face because jimmy brogan giving me um (laughs) advice about now about my career in addition to what material i should do makes me want to make a shiv out of a bar of soap anyway go ahead i offer the opinion that I, i think you're you might be the kind of person where somebody says something once and you attribute it to them every single time you see them and you never forgive them for that one time. Oh, I, yeah. I Interesting. said broken, said it once, and you've never forgotten. Uh, and... If you listen back to the last seven years of these shows, mm-hmm. there's at least seven stories of me working with him and what he said that evening. I, it's all the same story. I'm sorry. It it's is not. The same story. It, it is. is. It I don't is. know why you're gaslighting and me all. and supporting Jimmy Brogan. <laughs> I storm out. I storm out now, and then you continue doing a podcast called The Jimmy and Lori Show. <laughs> oh, man, you're coming in hot. Um, <laughs> I'm being I'm being gaslit. That's something. I, and I saw that movie. Robert Mitchum, anyone? Come on. Um, um, Ingrid Bergman, right? 
Was she in that uh, as well? Yep. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. It's I my Saturday was crazy. Uh I had so I was doing a Hermosa and uh and then I got a message from I lost you, Jackie. Right. Oh so. Okay, right. there you are. You're back. Uh so I was doing Hermosa, right? So two shows at Hermosa, right? The six fifteen or excuse me, it's six thirty and the nine fifteen. It's their birthday month. So they have 20 comics on every show. Everyone does five minutes. You get it. There's a, like a bell that rings at the five minute mark. And then you just stop talking. It's, it's great. Right. 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 It's I'm, fun. Yeah. So you, it's, you did July one you did last night. Yeah. It's every July. Okay. Yeah. They do this all the time. So, uh, so I'm like, all right, I I'm doing Saturday the gigs. All. I have five nights I'm doing. Yes. Yeah. So then, um, uh, I get a, a a DM uh, on Instagram uh, reminding me of the show on Saturday in Whittier. I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot to write that down. So uh, I'm like, do I cancel? And I was like, no, I can't. I What I can do is I can go up first or early on the 6.30 show in Hermosa Beach, then drive 45 minutes to Whittier and do a show at the CrossFit <laughs> in Whittier and then drive back to Hermosa Beach Wow. And go up last on the 915 show and then drive back, which is what I did. It was a ton of driving and it was fun though. I mean, I did I hate canceling. Um and yeah. I already canceled and two spots, so that already made me ill. And uh I didn't show, have to. It was just shows hassle. go good. It was just yeah. Yeah, yeah. The CrossFit show was really fun. Don't tell. I don't know what I don't know why, how I don't understand them but they seem to get a good crowd in weird venues. And <laughs> we were this place What I, it, Nat, I, I forgot his last name. It begins with a B. Uh, he, he was really funny. He went up in front of me. The, um, they had a blue lives matter flag hanging, you know, the American flag with the blue in the middle or whatever. Yeah. It's really awful looking. It's a cop flag, you know? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we it, have a flag. We do not need, a yeah, blue we don't lives. need your skin yeah. on it. We don't need your weird sepia ripped up piece of shit flag. Why don't you stick gross. it up your ass? Yeah. They had two ropes hanging down. I don't know what people do on them, but they were, they were curled in circles. And he's like, wow, I can't believe I'm, I'm at a place with a blue lives matter flag and two nooses hanging from the wall, <laughs> the ceiling. Um, anyway, how was that received? I hope very, very well. It got a big yes. laugh. It got a big laugh. It is my favorite uh, thing about stand-up comedy cr crowds is that even if they're um, if they don't agree, they will laugh if it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even yeah. sure this is a people that did CrossFit. Like it didn't seem like there were any <laughs> gym members at the show. <laughs> but um, yeah, they were a really great crowd. And uh, I wasn't yeah. referring to the CrossFit people, but I love that. That's where you went. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, and then the uh, the Her the Hermosa shows were. I always feel like on the on the twenty comic shows, it really depends on who you're following, you know. Uh, right, and you're usually following someone famous. The who'd you follow? Oh, um, no, I already forgot. Did but you have the some, salmon? Somebody, I did have the salmon. Those somebody, are my two questions. Somebody had to follow um, Morgan. Yeah. He's a he's a singer songwriter, uh, Morgan J. Morgan J. Yeah, okay, and uh, he's you know he did crowd work with the song like he kills with songs, and I, it's so hard to just go up immediately and follow with you know establishing your persona because they kind of like fall they're like oh they fall in love with this comic and then they want them to stay on the on the show they have to get off off the stage and uh, so anyway. Uh, it's tricky. It's not, it's not necessarily an easy set just cause it's shorter. You know what I mean? No, I do know what you mean. And at the Yoohoo, I had to close a, the Yoohoo one, one show this list this weekend that, uh, uh, you know, George K Burns. Yes. Uh, yeah. Very, yeah, yeah. very funny young man. And, um, yeah. he got up and he got sidetracked into some crowd work that destroyed, destroyed, oh. carried off the stage on the backs uh of on the shoulders of the audience um and then now, ouch listen to jackie work <laughs> on her new weird joke about hitting on 16 year olds okay good for you oh interesting i can't wait I to see it july 13th at our show at the crow july 13th at the crow you guys see how that's coming along i did it tonight 
and um, one of the comics is actually was triggered by it. And um, he was like, you know, that happens to men. And I was like, well, that's the point of the joke is that it doesn't just happen to women. It happens also to men and all the adults involved are the bad guys. And, uh, and he, I, I was like, please tell me okay. that you got that. He said, I did not get that. I got, uh, I, it, it was, there was a misunderstanding. It reminded me of the early days of my, they, that bit when uh, <laughs> someone would come up and go, you're not using the right words. You're not using all of the words that are needed and please either fix that or stop doing that joke. And I was like, well, I'm going to fix it. Cause you're not going to tell me I'm not going to, but I will fix it. Cause I've, I'm the point, the purpose of none, zero of my jokes is to uh, make someone sad in the audience and trigger them or make them feel somehow like I was. Right. On them. And I always feel like that's just uh, establishing more clarity. You know, if yes. someone says, I, I, this is what I got from it. It's like, oh, all right. That's not what I meant. And you might not be the only one thinking that. So how can I be really clear so that these That's are it. like very uh, solid laughs and not like, you know, mushy because people yeah. aren't sure what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. I have that with my Jet Blue story that about the guy jerking off in front of, or, you know, yeah. touching himself in front of me. So th th it's a little... Oh, I was like, God, oh, I, I don't want anyone to think I'm saying that this is okay. But I, so I'm just like, yeah, I'm still fucking around with the wording. But that, when I was working on my trans stuff, you yeah. know, a couple of trans comics gave me good notes, um, yep. not asked for. <laughs> right. Well, but, and but they would like come out like, uh, you know, Riley Silverman and um, Jay McBride too. We're, we're like, hey, just so you know, da, 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 da. It's like, oh, okay. I don't want to get that wrong. You know, and it's not I, this, we whatever don't. this laugh was, wasn't as, is a, like, I can come up with another way to get a laugh with the correct information or the correct, <laughs> right? you know, yes, whatever. It, with the correct information or the correct, yeah. you, I mean, that's what we do. We write jokes on, you know, and whether it's a, a silly take on the correct information or if it's a, a super dark take on the correct information, in my opinion, it should be the correct information. Yeah, uh, right. in all cases, especially if yeah. you're if you're commenting outside your own experience, or you're yeah. using those entities to to make jokes about your experience with them, something mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or a, then yeah, it's it's good to you know if if someone says, hey, that's me you're talking about, <laughs> yeah. kind of, <laughs> and this is why this didn't track for me. It's, yeah. you know, it, I won't always change something, but if it, you know, if I'm, you know, don't know what the fuck I'm talking about and I'm just, you know, saying shit, like Brian Simpson, after I, I did, I was doing this joke about, um, about women in World War II and how great they had it, you know, uh, yeah. and, uh, and it, 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 then the joke is it's, it's on my special that's coming out but it's like women uh american women who hated their husbands okay right. and um and so i think i just said american women for a while and he he kind of made a comment that black women didn't have it that great and i was like oh okay that's true so let me just like uh get oh. more specific it's women yeah. who hated their husbands and then i go into my, a bit about my grandma being delighted that my grandpa was being shipped <laughs> off the war so so i hope everyone no one's like wait 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 you missed you you kind of got that wrong so i just wanted to go immediately to right a very specific thing. it was yes. the name of the scientist not the monster named frankenstein uh so i mean it can yeah. be it can get to that point but it's not yeah but everything yeah. up to that point, I am definitely willing to hear it um, mm -hmm. at least once, whether or not I, I can do anything with it or if I, you know, yeah, it was, I did have yeah. somebody come like probably a dozen years ago and say, you know, I was sexually assaulted and your bit of a, you being sexually assaulted uh, made me sad. And I was like, Yeah except for that it was a bit about me being sexually assaulted and it actually helped me out. So uh, I'm sorry that it made you sad, but I'm talking right. about me and my experience. So exactly. That's what I feel. Yeah. Yeah. That 
like me talking about a miscarriage, but being relieved that I had a miscarriage. Like I know there's a lot of women in the audience that have had miscarriages and they were devastated, but uh, this is my take on it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it's not the same right. as yours. Yeah. And yeah, it's, yeah, I, I had a miscarriage. I uh, right. was sad about it, but it wasn't, I didn't take it personal when I saw you do that bit, that, that old bit you did. I thought, mm -hmm. this is a perfect Lori Kilmartin joke about the miscarriage. <laughs> and uh, and because miscarriage is super common, and a lot of people mm -hmm. don't know that. under uh, Before 12 weeks, that's, uh, you know, if the pregnancy, essentially it's a miscarriage because the pregnancy isn't viable. And your body goes, well, we're going to have to abort and retry. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Sometimes and you don't even know you had a miscarriage because the pregnancy was so short. Right. Right. Uh, and if you've ever read Watership Down, man. Anyway. I don't think I uh, have. Well, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, is it time to take a break? It sure is. The, okay. When Kyle's face gets real close to the screen, <laughs> I know that we're at about 30 minutes. <laughs> Let's do comic of the week. You got one, oh, Lori, right? Our, yes. Our comic of the week up. is <laughs> is Liz Blanc. Um, Liz Blanc. She's, she's very funny. I don't know where she's from. Uh, I saw a bunch of her uh, reels on Don't Tell's channel. And uh, she's oh, really cool. funny storyteller, joke writer. She's also a teacher. I don't know if she still is a teacher. But she has a lot of really funny stories and jokes uh, about teaching. And... Um, it looks like she's on tour this summer when I checked out her Instagram. Liz Blanc. Uh, so she's, she's out there and her, both of her handles, Twitter and Instagram are it's Liz Blanc, uh, B-L-A-N-C, like white in French. And uh, Liz, of course, L-I-Z. And it's I-T-S. I think we're all on board <laughs> at this point. <laughs> but check her out. She's very funny. You guys, use an at symbol. Uh, it's <laughs> Liz Blanc. I love that. Um, I have to say that I went to Kyle's party yesterday. You did. Mm -hmm. I thought I would last 37 minutes. I lasted 54 minutes. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't bring anything. So I gave Kyle a five and yeah, that's what I've decided. I got tipped. Uh, I've decided that's what I'm going to do. If I show up empty handed at other parties, I'm just going to hand that's people hilarious. a small amount of cash, not enough <laughs> for anyone to take me seriously, Dude, but yeah. enough for him Not to just go, the, okay. The jazz cigarette somebody slipped in my pocket and said, thanks for throwing a party, but the second coolest move. <laughs> <laughs> a jazz cigarette. <laughs> you know, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but uh, Kyle was raised in New Orleans in 1932 uh, when <laughs> jazz cigarettes were happening. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, if you give it up, then you can eat uh, with abandon because, you know, you've already paid your... Uh, and there was so much food and drink there that I didn't mm -hmm. feel it was fine. Oh yeah, I we, thought we had an incredible amount of food. Everybody who came out uh, said, "Make the joke." It's comedy's office party. There. <laughs> let me just say that uh, a guy came up to me and talked to me that I thought I recognized, and we had a lovely conversation. And then he went away, and then another guy walked up to me, and that was the guy that I thought I was talking to. <laughs> No. <laughs> and oh they are of an age they are both desperately very dreamy for stand-up comics <laughs> and mm. um have sort of the same body and i'm going to type two names oh, i'm so okay. excited right now <laughs> oh yes correct oh uh, i could see yes. that the they're second dudley yeah, mm -hmm. they're both pretty dreamy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and the second guy, I was talking to him, and I thought he was the first guy. And yeah. then the first guy came up to me, and I was like, oh, shit. I can't That's... believe the first guy came. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Was yeah, that was, that number was... Of people. Yeah, we had a, a good lineup for our turnout. <laughs> uh, yes, it was, uh, <laughs> it was excellent. There was some sort of lawn game that was happening, and that I champagne. admired that. Matt Champagne brought a lawn game that was good for the socially awkward, which, by the way, was a good 92 uh, yeah. percent. And it was a very nice young man who cornered me and wanted to talk to me about manga. And uh, and I All was right. 
and then he apologized about it. And I was like, no, no, I am fascinated. I want to hear, I want to hear the good words. And, uh, and then I stepped away. People did oh, ask about you, Lori. Many folks were like, is Lori coming? Listen, if I didn't have so much driving to do that night, Burbank, for sure, Hermosa, Whittier, Burbank, Hermosa, whatever, I would have come. But I was like prepping myself for that night. Fair enough. Um, was... I, I had my house termited, tented. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, tented. And are you back in, Jackie? I, yeah, I'm back in. But uh, the process of moving everything back from the garage, like I just threw everything in the garage. I didn't want to put it in bags. I didn't want to use the plastic bags. I'm like, keep them. I'll just bring it into the garage, and it's going to take months for me to bring all the salt shakers in, bring all the little. You know, the, and yeah yes every every little possible thing in back into the house it's just it's it's just the i just spread clutter all over the place right <sighs> but yeah well, so that's over with that's good that's that's great because... and living in the garage with my son and just items from a pantry um very depressing right. i'm like this <laughs> <laughs> can't go on one extra second right well and I'm glad, it has to. yeah well i'm glad that you didn't i mean it had to be better than i mean i i don't know this but because i would have preferred if i were you to just go to a hampton inn and uh but you it probably saved you a good five or six hundred dollars to just stay in the yeah. garage which is livable yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. i mean you know i showered at the pool and a whatever yeah. uh yeah uh, it's okay. Yeah, it, it's done. It's it's and it's. I hate to spend money on uh, on something I can't period. see every day. Period. The word is. <laughs> I hate to spend money. Period. Yes. I like. I love to spend money when I have it. Um, <laughs> sometimes I look back on my days of having money, and I was like, wow, I didn't like. I knew it was nice, but uh, it was just nice to just go. Yeah, I want to change this in that i'm gonna change it i'm gonna call william and have him change it and now it's like well let's just sit on that and see what happens in the next year so. i will say that the first time that you and i ever had breakfast uh mm -hmm. it was me and some people that were strictly road comics i think it was mm -hmm. rontowski and kira mm -hmm. and um the four of us went to nat's early bite mm -hmm. and you bought and i thought it was a class move because you had a you had the good job and you're oh. like, I'll buy. And and we all looked at each other and we're like, we're going to let you. And, uh, <laughs> and it was great. So, yeah. What do you got this days. week? Yeah. What do you those got this are week? The days. Um, this week, I don't have a lot. Uh, I am at the pro on this, on the sixth, on, um, I guess, Thursday night. And uh, hopefully other spots will fall in. Uh, I'm home a lot this summer. It's very disturbing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Mike, I'm doing comedy and magic uh, Friday and Saturday. Oh, cool. And then um, the 13th, we're both at the Crow with the, mm -hmm. with the lineup. Yeah. And then the 16th, I'm doing Pat Oswalt's show. My new tiny special will come out uh, on the 11th of July. I have a new website. Please go to JackieGeisha.com and become a number. Uh, uh, that I could look up on Squarespace and 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 say to myself, "Oh, look, it worked." Can I? Can I? Uh, this is great. I bet because I am just finished with the notes for my special. Like it's done. I bet. Oh, good. They drop it on July 11th. Oh, because that's the day. That's the day yours is coming up. Oh, it but seems oh, that God. always happens. Oh right, Remember, but everyone should. Came out and then yours came out two weeks later. It's like yeah. we're all we're we're on some sort of parallel track. It's like because we don't have our periods anymore. Now our specials <laughs> come out at the same time. Our, our, our careers have to sync up. <laughs> I'm so glad I thought of that. That was a funny thing that I just said. Everybody, make a note. Uh, here's the scoop. Uh, we see them all the time. I do. But uh so yeah, the yeah, go my tiny special will be on YouTube forever. And I'm gonna I'm actually gonna uh I have a Kyle made a vertical cut because it's uh there's a ten minute thing on TikTok. 
that you yeah. can and the whole thing i think is 11 real. minutes i think the vertical cut is actually the best cut if anybody's oh, yeah? gonna watch i think that tiktok cut actually might be like the optimal version that's it you get to see the you get to see the uh beware of your surroundings be aware of your surroundings <laughs> that's just cut out a little bit it's, i got to frame a little bit different I, it's a very blade runner situation with these two cuts uh, too funny <laughs> And but if you sign up for my email list, you'll find out. And I need everyone who lives in the San Diego area to come to Mic Drop uh, on my birthday, July twentieth, and watch a live Dork Forest, which I believe will be with Maria Bamford, because she's doing panel, and I couldn't get a comic book writer, uh, and I could get one of my very best friends who happens to be famous, <laughs> and. Um, it's going to be great. And uh, and then the 21st and the 22nd, I'm doing headline sets, and I have no idea who's opening for me, which is kind of annoying because I got Jackie. distracted about the, the Dork Forest. Yep, Jackie, I am at the mic drop July 30th, so I'm there 10 days after you. Oh, there you go. So San Diego, come and see me do a live Dork Forest and then come back and see me do stand-up comedy and then come back and see Lori do stand-up comedy. Yeah, I mean, you can really get your Jackie and Lori fix if you, in fact, need one. And uh, Mary McMac. Mary Mac is also going to be uh, doing stand-up comedy also on July 20th in the small room uh, at the mic drop. And I kind of wish that she could come to the big room and be on the Dork Forest. That would have been mm -hmm. fun. But San Diego, rise up and come and see my shows because I need to fill that room. Yeah, so tell, tell people tell people uh and uh yeah i'm at the acme of course i gave them a bunch of reels uh That's... to i'm starting to be i have a night i'm gonna have a drop box where a club can just grab some reels whatever they want that's a I've, ticket you know if you want if you want to throw the norton roast up that will appeal to a certain kind of crowd you know mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be like the latest material um yeah, yeah. i sent i sent them a a, a box of just just a Dropbox folder full of all. I'm like, help yourself. Yeah. But hopefully, um, hopefully it fills. It helps to fill the room as well. So. Yep. Um, and I am looking forward to doing Hermosa Beach this week. Um, it's though fun. it will yeah. be a haul. It's uh, it's always such a drive. Yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, less of a drive than this last weekend, I think, because everyone was going away for the fourth. So maybe it'll right. be a little, little lighter. Right. I don't know. I I once went there early with my son. I got there early, and uh, so then we went out to the beach, took our shoes off, walked around on the beach. I usually I usually try right to there. go a little early because the beach is right there and it's gorgeous. So, mm -hmm. um, Jenny Fine sent me art for the oh. Made of Bees T-shirt, but uh, cool. I need to get it in layers so that I can make the Made Made of Bees T-shirt. And uh, she's also going to help me out with uh, just a bee and the word made of bees. And I'm going to make made of beanies. I'm going to make beanies that say uh, made of bees. Cool. I think if I get the art, I'll do all of those things. Oh, my God. So much to do. Oh, I, and I've been trying and I've been I ate the, the, the set that I had at the Yuhu to silence after George K. Burns destroyed um was essentially me working on this thing about driving with people after lockdown and i had, I had not driven with anyone but andy for 16 months mm -hmm. then all of a sudden i'm back in a car with friends and other comics and people i like but it turns out you notice how bad a drivers they are and or what their habits are and what my habits are you know my habits sadly I yeah, it's when there's someone in the car, I'm a perfectly good driver. Mm -hmm. so I need no witnesses, <laughs> right? So when I'm alone in the car, I I might as well be driving a gun, uh, because uh, it is a weapon, and I'm doing I'm reading, I'm writing, I'm doing some small arithmetic, I'm doing whatever I want to do. It turns out while forgetting that I'm also driving a car. So, but I, I drove two, two teenagers today that weren't my son and mm -hmm. my son, obviously. And the whole time I was like, Thank God, please, God, do not. 
I don't want to get in a crash. I don't want to go tell anyone's mother I got in a crash with your son in my car. Like I would, I became much, I've become much more of a conservative driver. Uh, and are they, um, do they make fun of your car? How, did you clean your car? How, did, how was your car? Why would anyone make fun of my car, Jackie? What are you saying about it? Uh, it's I'm fine. saying your car is exactly that. It's fine. Yes. It's doing very well. Thank you. <laughs> it needs an oil, it needs an oil change, but that's it. I just got an oil change. You're going to want to get that oil change, Lori, so that that car <laughs> runs real nice. Yeah. It's got, let's say, 2009 Toyota with like 70,000 miles on it. Wow. That's actually yeah. kind of low. It's very low. That's it's because I low. think it was because it was your mama's car, right? It was my mom's car. And she bought it used from somebody who was older than her. So I'm the youngest owner and I'm putting some miles on it finally. But yeah, it'll run forever. Let's take and a break on those on on that on that note. Let's take a small break. To. Yeah. I I don't know what to tell you about um my my fall is actually super light. I got an email from my agent saying, "It looks like your October is completely open." And I was like, "Yes. Yes it is. Any chance?" <laughs> You could fill that. And he was like, stay tuned. And uh, I have stayed tuned for four days. And now uh, I am interested. Oh, did you see that uh, SAG? It was uh, uh, SAG is going to push their, their strike date to the 12th. Oh, it's so weak. They're, I, they're not. Well, she signed it. She signed it that it was not a sign of weakness, which, by the way, is a sign of weakness. <gasps> yeah. And. The other thing is, is somebody told me that, that they moved the date so that all the actors could go uh, on their vacations. And sure. whatever it is, know. it's complete and utter bullshit is what it is. And uh, they really need to, we need to just all stand together. And the DGA has already been, the D stands for douchebags. Uh, <laughs> so... DGA, don't go anywhere near a good deal. <laughs> yeah, um, don't be supportive. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I it, it this strikes so so. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm just like following you know other people's tweets and stuff, and there's like, thank God, I have stand up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm all. I'm. Oh my God, I can't believe creatively, I, financially, all of yes, it, for all it's the reasons. Something. Yeah. Because, yeah. Um, yeah. People are just, you know, there's like an Emmy nominated producer that's trying to get temp work. It's like, what the fuck? You know, I'm, it's just bad. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and picketing. Okay. My knees are getting a little better. Maybe I'm developing some sort of muscle or yeah. there. I, I, I can't believe all the workouts I do and yet walking hurts my knees. What Jackie, that is, excuse yeah. me. Yeah, that's not fair. That's not fair. Thank uh, you. All, it's all not the swimming, fair. right? Uh, the 10 episodes of uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus, a podcast, uh, that I'm still listening to now on repeat. Yeah. Um, many of these older women are swimmers. That's Maybe their, Dick, that's their exercise. Dick, Dick Van Dyke, as well, swims every single day, he's like close to 100. And I think it was Isabella Allende, or uh, might have been von Furstenberg, actually, uh, who is a uh, goes out into the into like the ocean oh, with, a, with a boat that follows her because she's eighty five and she's wealthy. <laughs> I got a boat. Um, but I told you last week or two weeks ago, Karen Morgan is a, she's a stand up. She does open water swims, you mm -hmm. know, which is what this was. Yeah, does she have a boat that follows her? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I, not I if like she's featuring yeah in a, <laughs> i like to keep it in a pool you know yeah you do i like i like lifeguards nearby i don't like submersive i i like to take a bath is that something nope it is not no, it's nothing at it's all not. like it <laughs> but weirdly enough i don't like that um the self degradation pool that we're used it's salt water and it's not called that That's sensory deprivation oh, sensory degradation <laughs> <laughs> sensory rory scoble talked me into it and uh so 
it's a sensory... I do have a gift certificate for doing one of those. It well, just seems luck. like so you know, there's someone, you know, again, there's a oh, there's always one story for something, but somebody got norovirus from doing those because the water wasn't cleaned. I was like, oh my God. Were know. they in a Murphy bed while it happened? <laughs> Jackie, they are dangerous. <laughs> don't even get me started i told my kid i'll tell our listeners do not sleep in a murphy bed have you ever have you ever been anywhere near a fucking murphy bed yes at a a bob kephart's gig in atlantic city the uh, the uh, the hotel they put us in was the rooms were so small it was a murphy bed yes Yes. wait wait the comedy at the stop at the trap or whatever yes yes i stayed at that hotel there was no murphy bed well i had one I ha- I have stayed at a Murphy bed and lived to tell the tale, Lori. Uh, over at Disney World, don't uh, get cocky. St- I gotta it get cocky here. <laughs> it can never. It's it's like I am more likely to get bit on the ass by a shark, and I don't swim in the ocean, so mm-hmm. that'd be a land shark. That's how. <laughs> that's what I think is more likely than me getting clunked in the bean with a with a Murphy bed. Uh, But I do like that this has turned into a conversation about Murphy beds Uh, this week. uh, So I did a thing for Charlene Conley on Sirius XM uh, called road stories, stories of road dogs or something where uh, you answered several questions and then you told various stories of liking and disliking the road. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do that, it's a great way you get on Sirius and you can plug your Yeah. yeah so i gotta do that I, yeah. I, I in fact um i this tenting threw threw everything off in terms of me replying to business things but yeah um i just want to make sure i can get the the podcaster to to uh test mm-hmm. i've been doing podcasts like i did um uh, chris garcia kurt uh kurt and kristen have a podcast a parenting podcast and so oh, nice. they all took a COVID test. And then every everyone was fine, so I was fine being in there. I wasn't worried. I could sit with somebody, I suppose, in a room, but I'm gonna the whole time I'm gonna be freaking out and thinking, oh my god, is this when I'm giving myself COVID right now? So serious, serious. The road stories oh, thing. It's just Ophira, you and yeah. Ophira also took a COVID test, and I did her podcast in you know in a room face to face without anything without a mask. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the room is big, and your uh charlene's the only one there i also did john fugel sayings and nobody was wearing a mask and nobody gave a damn and i mean i yeah. it's it's not for you necessarily but it was um but that's where i met actually that's where i met raja michael stand-up comic and uh horror she's uh she's this week's she'll be this week's uh dork forest about horror movies and she watches horror movies as when she was a child which was how to face her fears that's what made her love horror movies Mm. nightmare on elm street she was 10 years old and it it helped her stop having nightmares because in her nightmares she would wake up sort of still in the dream but not be she was asleep so she couldn't move i don't know if you've ever had that experience where mm-hmm. you're sort of you're kind you're not really awake you're still asleep but you're you know that you are awake but you can't Sleep move paralysis that's what that's what it's called yeah and um and she uh i guess the way west craven wanted to end nightmare on elm street was he wanted it to end on the scene where the girl the woman says to freddy krueger or whatever you don't have any power over me and turns around. And that's what Roger Michael did when she was 10 years old or 11 years old in her nightmare. She just, in her nightmare, she, when she had that sleep paralysis, she could still think and She was like, you don't scare me and turned around. Mm, and, wow. And it really helped. And then she went through like six other uh, movies that were just sort of very, very feminist and very sort of women have to save themselves. Women have to die on their own men aren't going to help you <laughs> just stand up and die or stand up and live. Right. Yeah. That kind right. of thing. <clears throat> Pretty great. It's a great episode of the dork forest and the website's well, back up. So live it up folks. My yeah, mediocre WordPress is uh, also available off of my incredibly fancy Jackie 
Wow. Oh, well, that's good. I don't have a lot of uh, action at my website. I used to uh, early on in websites, but it mm-hmm. seems like people just go to your social media instead of your website, right? Right. Except for the except for the club owners and the and the club people, the bookers, they they're looking for bios and they're looking for clips and they're looking for true. Yeah, that's all. And and full calendar is always a nice thing, though. Now I have to relearn. Because I was entering my calendar on Vilmos's dedicated enter calendar software, and now mm-hmm. I have to learn on Squarespace how to enter calendars. Mm-hmm. So it's a, uh, it's a, it's. I'm here's what I am willing. Oh, so much to learn. So much to learn. Um, my son started a little job. Right. Yep. And, uh, so we were, we were celebrating, um, his dad and I, and we went to the boiling crab in (laughs) Burbank and, uh, Jackie, they just, they throw all the food in plastic and then they give it to you. Mm -hmm. It is such a waste of plastic. And then I, I was watching, I'm like, they're not recycling any of this. They just, they just, uh, they 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 kind of crush it all together when they when they clean a table and they throw it away and I was like, oh, I can't why I can't live in this world anymore with all this plastic waste. It's driving me insane. Yeah, it's also gross. It's also not. It is not a pleasant experience to root around in a plastic bag for a crawfish. No, and I I I don't like the look of them. I don't like I don't like their legs. I don't want to, I don't want to see this whole thing. They look like insects. Like I have to, like I had a little bit of crab to be polite, but it was disgusting. And I just had a couple corn on the cobs that were delicious, but gosh, I don't know. Oh, the corn this, this, uh, this season's really good. All the rain that we've had in LA has done vital wonders for the, for the produce. Uh, we got, we got zucchini. We got yellow crookneck. I planted from seed, these sweet dumpling squash that um it might have been a hybrid because i'm getting two different kinds of winter squash so i don't know what the hell is going to come out of this out of this uh out of the seeds i planted but then hundreds and hundreds of tomatoes that i'm really looking forward to and i'll share those if you like and um yeah. will you ever grow grapes like i like we have grapes red grapes we have grapes. grapes they're probably purple actually uh they're because i yeah. grew- because I, in in some mythical world, I was going to make grape leaves. I was going to pickle grape leaves and make sarma. Uh, guess what? Never happened. That. Yeah. Uh, instead, we have a grape. We have a grapevine that grows grapes. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. We now have figs. Do you like figs? No. Well, Andy's the only one who does, and we have hundreds of them. <laughs> so, uh, if anyone likes figs. <laughs> And you've got my uh, and you, and and you live in Los Angeles. Hit me up. Well, I'm wearing my. I got my rings, the the wedding rings from my parent. My sister had them for a while. Uh, I'm wearing. I have two wedding rings on my hand, and one on my hands. One is my dad's right here, and the other is my mom's. And those oh. are the only the only wedding rings I'll ever wear belong to the dead. You, you should listen to Isabella Ande. Because uh, her whole thing, she got married three years ago when she was 77. Yeah, I listened to it. It was great. Yeah. Have you ever read Isabel Andy? It has that sort of vibe that you would like. Yes. Yeah. I, we talked about this last week. The Long Pedal by the Sea is a great novel she wrote. And I made a note that I have to read some more because I'm reading a book I don't like right now. Yeah, I'm reading a book I don't like right now. So bad. I seem to have lost the book. Uh, so always a good, always a sign that you're like, mm, I don't actually care where I left that book, uh, because I don't want to, I don't want to finish it. Uh, so whatever, uh, I have a thousand comic books to read and that I'm pretty excited about. And I just opened up a new two boxes of hero clicks. Mm-hmm. And, uh, let me just tell you, this is Dr. Strange's dog. It's, uh, his name is bats and he's a ghost. It's pretty great. All right. Now, now we must be at an hour. Mind you, sure that it's are. been an hour. If you're showing toys, Jackie, on a podcast, <laughs> it's been an hour. And feel free to find 
uh, the fact that I found my the jewel box version of my first album, Circus People. You guys, you would have to own that device. Okay, bye.